Hey! How are you? This is Pastor Kent. And today we are looking at devotion. So, first thing. First thing we have to look up is what is devotion? Well, love, loyalty, or enthusiasm for a person, activity, or cause. Religious worship or observance, or prayers or religious observances. So that's what the definition of devotion is. Um, let's have a word of prayer. Father, Ada, Abba, may I say, and be your instrument in your name I say Amen devotion why must must we be devoted well in the Darby translation it says in Matthew 26 verse 35 Peter says to him if I should need die with thee I will in no wise deny thee. Likewise said all the disciples also. This shows pure devote, devotion to their master and teacher. Um, Luke 22 verse 33 says, And he said to him, Lord with thee, I am ready to go both to prison and to death. Um, this is showing that for my faith I will die a martyr's death and because of that we're going to look at the deaths of the apostles and disciples Luke 22 verse 35 says and he said I will tell thee Peter the cook shall not crow today before thou hast denied me three thus thus knowing me and this is actually three times that he did this and this shows devotion to his follower John 13 verse 37 to 38 says Peter says to him Lord thou cannot I will follow thee now I will lay my life down Jesus answers thou will lay thy life down for me verily verily I say unto thee the cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice May God bless the reading of his word. Why is it important that we follow our Messiah? Well, I'm going to look here um, for something that I have saved just for this occasion. And I didn't think about it, but the Lord brought it to my attention that I, I should bring it up now. So I'm just looking for it in my OneDrive. Just bear with me a few seconds here, and I'll find it. Um, just not seeing it. I have a list of how the apostles died. Uh, there we go. 
Thank you, Lord. Okay. How the apostles died. First, Matthew suffered martyrdom in Ethiopia, killed by the sword wound. Mark died in Alexander, Egypt, after being dragged by horses through the street until he was dead. Luke was hung in Greece as a result of his tremendous preaching to the lost. John faced Meridum when he was boiled in a huge basin of boiling oil during a wave of persecution in Rome. However, he was miraculously delivered from death. John was then sentenced to the mines in the prison island of Pomaf Patma Patmos. He wrote the prophetic book of Revelations in Patmos. The Apostle John was later fed and returned to serve as bishop in Istia in modern Turkey. He died as an old man, the only apostle who died peacefully. Peter was crucified upside down to an X-shaped cross. According to the church tradition, it was because he told the tremendous that he felt unworthy to die in the same way as our Messiah died. James, the leader of the church in Jerusalem, was thrown over a hundred feet down into the southeast principle of the temple when he refused to deny his faith in Christ. They decided, dis, discovered that he survived the fall. His enemies beat James to death with a Fulbert's club. This is the same principle where Satan had taken Jesus during the temptation. James, the son of Zebedee, was a fisherman by trade when Jesus called him him to a lifetime of ministry. A strong leader of the church, James was beheaded at Jerusalem. The Roman officer who granted James watched amaze as James defied his faith at his trial. Later, the officer walked beside James to the palace of the execution. Overcome by conviction, he declared his new faith to the judge and knelt beside James, except beheading as a Christian. Bartholomew, also known as Natena, was a missionary to Asia. He, he witnessed for our Lord in a present-day Turkey. Bathmoment was martyred for his preaching in America where he was flogged to death by a whip. Andrew was crucified on an X cross in Patras, Greece after being whipped several by seven soldiers, they tried, tied his body to the cross with cords to prolong the agony. His followers reported that he was led toward the cross. Andrew saluted it in this, these words, I have long desired and expected this happy hour. The cross has been considered by the body of Christ 
hanging on it. He continued to preach his transformers for two days until he expired. Thomas was stabbed with a spear in India during one of his missionary trips to establish the church in a subcontinent. Jude was killed with arrows when he refused to deny his faith in Christ. Mathas, the apostle chosen to replace the traitor Judas Iscariot, was stoned then beheaded. Paul was tortured, then beheaded by the evil Emperor Nero of Rome in AD 67. Paul endured a lengthy imprisonment, which allowed him to write his many epistles to the churches he had formed through the Roman Empire. These letters, which taught many the foundation and doctrines of Christianity for a large portion of the New Testament. Perhaps this is a reminder to us that who sufferings here are indeed minor compared to the intense persecution that could Colliery force by the apostles and the disciples during their times for the sake of their faith, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Pass on to encourage other Christians. Why do we feel sleepy? in prayer but stay awake through a three-hour movie why are we so bored when we look at the holy book but find it easy to read other books <clears throat> why is it so easy to ignore the messages that God has sent us, yet we forward the nasty ones. Why are prayers getting smaller, but bars and clubs are extending? Why is it so easy to worship a celebration, but very difficult to engage with God? Think about it. You are going to follow this are you going to ignore it because you think you will get laughed at? Do we really love our Lord and Savior? Do we really and truly worship as he commands us to be? Um, Remember this, my brothers and sisters. God endured a whole day of pain, agony, and suffering for your sins so that we could have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Are you not understanding this? Are you not seeing what's going on here? The world is in a historic state of affairs. God's judgment is coming upon this earth. Are we ready to fight the fight of our Savior? Are we ready to stand with our Messiah toe to toe and side by side and make that wall that is impenetrable? Are we ready? Well, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, you are one of my followers. I need you to please 
for the love of God, subscribe to this page. I want to grow this message. Share this message with all your friends on Facebook. Every single one of them. I am serious. Because it is important that we share the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior Messiah. And most of all, Yeshua who is his proper name. And we need to start praying that way to Yeshua, not to Jesus Christ. That is a made up name by King James. And we need to get that out of our vocabulary. Okay, we need to stop doing that. Stop bending to the pagan and ritual ways of this world today. We need to get back to what it means to be a messianic Christian. Follow me and help us grow. Because um, no one would help and no one wants to help with this ministry. This ministry is suffering right now. We've lost our blog talk account. So that is why you don't see me on blog talk anymore because blog talk has blocked me from doing any more messages um, it's sad but it's true and until we get forty dollars a month we cannot be on blog talk radio sad but true and that's the way it's going to be I need your help to grow this ministry there is a PayPal account link on this page. I need you to subscribe to that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 40. It doesn't matter what your commitment is. I need your help to grow this ministry. This ministry is huge and wants to go all over the world. If you're from a different part of the world and you want to be part of this ministry, then you need to support this ministry. I will not support anybody who does not support us. That's the way of it. We help our own. Help our own people. Those that follow us, we will help. May God bless you and keep you. If you're in the sound of my voice today and you've never accepted our Messiah as your Savior, this prayer is for you. If you're lost and backslidden, say the simple prayer and rededicate your life to our Lord and Savior. Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer asking the Messiah to forgive my sins. I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that the Messiah is your Son and he died on the cross at Calvary that I might be forgiven and have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven with you and him. I believe that the Messiah rose on the third day and I ask him, the Holy Spirit, to come into my heart right now and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of all of my sins and I will worship him all the rest of the days of my life because your word is truth. I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that I am cleansed by the blood of Calvary. In the Yeshua's name, I pray. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. If you're in the sound of my voice and have heard this message then you need to support this ministry we can't do it without you and if you're saying but ministries are supposed to be soul supporting well let me tell you that there are churches that are supported by their ministries and we need to branch out to areas in this world like Pakistan, 
Iran, Iraq, that are suffering without Christianity. And I'm not talking this fake pagan Christianity. I'm not talking that. Okay? I'm talking about the true Christ-like Christianity. May God bless and keep you. And please, I'm begging you to help this ministry. Abba, thank you for being here with us. Bless and guide and strengthen and keep us in all that we say, in all that we do. We say these things in Yeshua's name. Amen.